have been the smartest girl at Stars Hollow, but this is a different place. As my mother always says, somebody has to answer the phones. Okay, I have... Right or left? Did anyone else feel the shift in the space-time continuum? Accident, uh, you don't care. <laughs> so please, go on. Oh, oh. What in the world? <laughs> okay. It was too humiliating. Oh, honey, you once told me that you loved Saved by the Bell. What could be more humiliating than that? We went to her house in Groton to see the first moon landing. She just got a new Philco. I have no memory of this whatsoever. Rory, correct me if I'm wrong, but men have walked on the moon regardless of whether your mother remembers it or not. That's the rumor. I know the men have walked on the moon. I just don't know Claudia. <sighs> it's getting late. Let's stay outside a while, baby. Look for the Big Dipper. Okay. God, this is horrible. He comes in and horrible. Well, what's going on between you two? I asked him if he'd like to have dinner sometime. I know, weeks ago. And he said yes. Which is good. But since there was no definite plan or date attached, none of the invitation is just out there floating in the universe. Oh. Hey. Did you read Rory's paper yet? Agreed. Okay. So, and phase two. Sounds very official. Are there spacesuits involved? With magic helmets. Impressive. How did this happen? Well, a single-celled organism crawled out of the primordial ooze, and that pretty much led to Dean. Is this weird for you? Four, three, two, one. In most respects. Then we have liftoff. What does that mean? You didn't take one note. You resorting to the osmosis theory of learning? Why do you care? I don't. Just making an observation. Great. We'll build a dome over you and jam a telescope in your head. I see you after your dinner tomorrow night? Oh, I don't know. I have a lot of phone calls to make. Ooh, the internet! Let's go global! Good night, Lorelei. I shouldn't have proposed to you like that. I mean, it was stupid. It was the wrong place and the wrong time, and I kicked myself the entire night for doing it. I like my bank. Okay, hold on. It's small, and the teller's name is Margie, and she can't count. And I think there's something so poetic about banking in a place where the teller can't count. Lorelei. What? Calm down. Talk to me. It's just... So, your yen to hit the bingo parlor in infield was... A vicious, vicious lie. This is incredible. This is really, really incredible. My god, is there any pink icing left on the planet? Let's just hope they finish with a mass suicide. We get cranky when we're hungry. Well, plus, we're above everyone else on the planet. Clearly. Mm. I get home, I'll wake them up. Dave, do you have your space pen? You have to ask. Oh, he loves his space oh, pen. Yeah. They write underwater. They write underwater. They write underwater. They write underwater. It is tiny. Your Oxford English dictionary is going to need a room of its own. It'll fit somewhere. One window, brick wall. You're going to need a better view. Well, this isn't my room to begin with. At least there's two. Beds. Somewhere for me to sleep. That would be my roommate's bed. Put that down. Why? Because otherwise you're going under it. I won't fit. Oh, yes, you will. Hey, donuts, please. We were here first. On the planet? Huh? You lose. Chocolate cinnamon sprinkles. You will not steal. You will pay back Taylor Dozy. You will graduate from high school, and you will return Pierpont to his yard. You can't just... I can just... I am not letting you just fall off the face of the earth. You will not drift. I won't let it happen. Um, guys, hi. There's a lady up there with a rock the size of Neptune around her neck. Talking about the debutantes of ancient Greece. So I respectfully disagree. That doesn't surprise me based on my research. What? He was never without his skateboard for a time. Were you any good? I could hold my own. And there was that year you wore the same shirt everywhere you went. I don't remember that. Must have been something flannel. No, it was from that TV show, that famous one. It's not important. Star Trek, that's it. 
Oh, my God, oh, my God. Stop it. You were a Trekkie? I was not a Trekkie. Oh, well, I do believe that denying you were a Trekkie is a violation of the Prime Directive. Indubitably, Captain. It was a gift from my aunt. I wore it to make her happy. I never wanted to make any aunt of mine that happy. Did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh, no, Mia, that's okay. I just have to cancel everything I have scheduled for the next three months, because I'll still be laughing my ass off. Luke, I need to talk to you right now. What is it, Taylor? I have conducted a thorough investigation of all the people who may have inadvertently been witness to the phony murder at my store last night. There was a phony murder? Yeah, the town's too dull to work up a real murder. But you're one beam me up Scotty reference away from being the victim of one. Luke, are you going to listen? What's this got to do with me? I swear one of these days, Alice, pow, right to the moon. What on earth are you talking about? Who's Alice? Because you can't take constructive criticism. <laughs> Nothing that came out of your mouth today might, in any universe visited by Kirk or Spock, be construed as constructive. Wow. Leave your bandage alone. Look, it's turning purple, but a really glowy purple look. No, thanks. Hmm. Maybe our rain gutters are radioactive or made out of some kind of alien metal so that when I cut my hand, I got infected with an extraterrestrial substance, which is altering my internal makeup. <sighs> Maybe I'll turn into a superhero. Maybe. Like, maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and suddenly be able to shower really fast. Well, go pick out your cape after breakfast. Taste them, yes, not to orally deduce their chemical structures. Everything has to be at your pace. Or at a pace that can't be measured by the number of times the Earth circles the sun. 